Have you ever wondered why Moho's bone tools feel so complicated to use? You are not alone. Most animators struggle with these tools and today we are uncovering why. Moho's bone tools are designed to add a virtual skeleton to anything you draw. Characters, props, even special effects making animation easier. The reason these tools feel so difficult is because of their complexity and the less obvious aspects of their design. Layer binding and point binding, while powerful, often confuse users due to their specific limitations and because they don't provide clear guidance on what's going wrong. But don't worry, this tutorial will reveal a simple technique to master these tools and unlock their full potential step by step. When I first started using layer binding in Moho, I thought it was as simple as assigning a bone to a layer. Let me show you what I used to do. I have created this character and both the arms are on a single layer. So I will use layer binding to bind the bone to the layer. I have selected the arm layer. Over here I'll select bind layer option and I'll click on the bone and the bone is bound to, the, to this layer. Now if I move the arm we can see that the movement is stiff and I don't have the option to straighten the arm it stays bent there is no flexibility in the joint and if I try the same thing with the other arm and I don't have the option to bend the arm this was one of the biggest frustrations I had when starting out with layer binding it doesn't account for natural joint movement which made my animations look stiff and unnatural. I didn't realize that the problem wasn't with the tool itself but with how I was setting it up. So we have established that a good setup is key to great animation. But you might be wondering why even bother with layer binding when you have point binding? Why not just use point binding for everything? It seems like it gives you more control, right? I remember working on an animation where my character was holding a sword. I thought point binding would give me the best results. So I used it to bind the sword to a bone. But when I moved the hand, the sword looked like a bent noodle. The sword didn't feel like it was a part of the character's hand at all. It was as if the character was trying to hold a wet noodle. That's when I realized I was overcomplicating it. And I discovered the power of layer binding. In this case, Layer binding was the perfect solution. I used the bind layer tool to bind the character's hand layer to a bone. Then I used the same tool to bind the sword layer to the same bone. Now when I move the bone, both the hand and the sword moved together as a single unit.
this was much simpler and faster than using point binding. Layer binding is incredibly useful when you want to move a prop and character as one unit. And you don't need advanced flexibility for every point in the layer. Point binding is a powerful tool, but it's not without its challenges. Let me show you how to use it effectively. So what exactly is point binding? Think of your character as a puppet and the bones in Moho as the strings. Point binding allows you to attach specific points of your character's artwork directly to these bones. This gives you precise control over which parts move with each bone, preventing unwanted distortions. Let me show you what happened when I first tried to use point binding. I tried to stretch my character's arm, but it looked like rubber instead of an arm. At first, I had no idea why my arm looked like rubber. But after some practice, I realized that point binding gives you control over the individual points of the layer. Let me show you the right way. With point binding, you can control each individual point in the layer, keeping the shape intact even when you stretch the arm. This way, your character's movement looks smooth and realistic. Now point binding isn't perfect. Even after applying it correctly, I ran into another issue. Even though my arm was moving correctly, something still felt off. The shape wasn't quite right, especially in extreme poses. And that's where things get tricky. What do you do when point binding alone isn't enough? We'll explore additional techniques like smart bones in a future video to solve this problem. All this will be useless unless you understand how to properly add bones to your characters. Without mastering the basic of bone manipulation, your animations will never reach their full potential. In the next video, we will be diving into the basics of bones. I will show you how to add bones to your characters and objects. Manipulate shapes, lock bones for better control and much more. Make sure to check out the next video to unlock the secrets of bone manipulation and make your animations more dynamic than ever.